In another shakeup for Arizona politics, GOP first chair Russell Pierce resigned from his post late Sunday evening. Now protesters are calling for his removal from office. Reporter Bethany Reed has a story. When women are under attack, what do we do? Stand up, fight back! More than two dozen people marched up to the Republican County Treasurer's Office calling for the removal of Republican Russell Pierce. We're going to keep on coming back. We're going to keep on doing actions. We'll even have to take over this county building if we need to to make sure that Russell Pierce is not in this position. Pierce told a radio audience September 6th if he were put in charge of Medicaid, he would require women who received government assistance to be on birth control. He also said that people receiving aid should be forced to survive on beans and rice. He's not going to dictate what our families eat just because they need assistance. This isn't the first time Pierce has put the Republican Party in a controversial spotlight here in Arizona. There were some things here with SB 1070 where, you know, there were some fairly extreme things that came through his emails to his, his group of people that follow him, his constituents. And I think what happened this last week uh, is another example of the same thing happening. Pierce has since resigned from his position in the Republican Party, but still works for taxpayers as an employee of the Maricopa County Treasurer, Charles Hoskins. Political analysts think the party still may feel the pressure from the comment come election time. And these kinds of things move votes and push voters to one position or another. Republicans are afraid that they're going to come off looking anti-woman or uh, very backward in their thinking. The county treasurer's office has not yet commented on their plans for Pierce, so the protesters say they plan to keep showing up until they see the results they want. In Phoenix, Bethany Reed, Cronkite News. The Maricopa County Treasurer's Office say that the issue is not theirs to handle. They can't get involved in the hiring and firing of an appointed individual. It will be up to the treasurer Hoskins as to whether or not Pierce remains in the position.